go again to learn some more stuff from you, no clue. Charlie the Cloud is here to stay. And my friend Pete, your friend Pete, let's just be, to show you how to do it right. <laughs> happy in any way whatsoever shape or form about this car the reason is is because I have had this car in my shop for years so many years I don't even know how long I've had the car because I am mr. nice guy and I work with people and I I have faith in people and I am a helping person people guy is what I am. So how long we've had the car, I don't know. But I'm not happy about it. The only thing I am happy about is that I'm working on it today. So uh, we're getting ready to whip out all the bodywork. We're gonna take the car and do the body work. We're gonna do a dance on the roof. We're gonna take the hood and shine it down and lather it up and make this car a beautiful car that it should be. And that's what we're getting ready to do. Let's do that to the car that's been in my shop I don't know how long. Because it's time to say, Yes! We've got to do the car! So, the first thing at hand that we got to do to the car! The beautiful car! We gotta get it up in the air. We gotta take it up in the air. So I have a visual concept of where I'm going with it. Did I tell you how long this car's been here? I don't know if I mentioned that. It's been here a long time, guys. Long, long time. Long time. A long time. How long, I don't know. We should ask me to the body shop girl how long. She'd know. She keeps track of stuff like that. Because when she keeps track of stuff and how long the car's been, she's not happy. She's not a happy camper at all. But we're working on it. We're getting ready to do the work. Because that's important, see? That's important. Or should I just store it? Oh, let me go ahead and put it back down on the ground, and I'll go ahead and store it for another nine years. Yeah, by that time I'll be retired, see? I'll be in an old folks home in 10 years. All right? We'll just take it to the old folks home. That's what we'll do. We'll take it to the old folks home, my friend Pete. Take it with you. The owner won't care. He won't care. Yeah, that's what we're gonna do. We're not gonna fix it. I'm taking it to the old folks home. I love this car. I wanna make love to the car. I don't want the car to leave. That's how much I love having this car. Do you get the idea? Do ya? There. We got the front on. We got the front. It's up in the air. Did I tell you about the flat tires? Did I tell you about that? That these are 14 inch tires and you can't find them anywhere? So when you do find one, it holds there for like 10 minutes and then it goes flat. Did I tell you that? I didn't tell you that, did I? No. That I've been dragging this thing around, pushing it around, painfully and stakefully for how many years? I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. But it's been a long time. 
Very, very long time. Yes, it has. Um, has anybody watched any of my videos on this car? Have you at least done that to appreciate my friend Pete by doing what I'm doing? By loving and keeping this car here and finishing it for you, the viewer, to see. Have you done me, me, me that favor? Have you? Have you? Ha! <laughs> ha! Yeah. That's what I thought. Um, as for pumping and, and hoisting and, and, and getting it up in the air, uh, I've replaced the quarter panel on this car. Um, this car was rotted and rusted in, in, in very short sections of the vehicle. Okay, I don't want the car to fall. All right. And then, uh, once I did that, I replaced the section over here. And I'm giving you a review here, guys. Okay? Uh, I'm giving you uh, the situation of what I've done to this car. Um, I I'm doing, what do we call that? Uh, a recap. There you go. Not a review. If I was reviewing this car, YouTube would take it off because there'd be too many cuss words in the video for me to allow it to be on YouTube if I was going to review the car for you. Yes, that's right. So here I am now jacking it up. Uh, what did we do here? We replaced the quarter panel. Did you see that video? Go back in there. Appreciate me, please. I need appreciation, people. A little bit, that's all. That's all. That's all. Ah, son of a bitch. Son of a bitch. Uh, so, um, we replaced the quarter panel. And what else did we do? Uh, we had it completely blasted. Uh, watch that video. All right, see what... Uh, what is that called? Dustless blasting is all about. Watch it. Learn from it. Neuter it. Use it the right way, bitch. Oh. Ah. So, uh, let's get this thing up in the air. Um, did I tell you about the bottom of the tires that won't hold air? I got two tires that hold air and two that won't. I replaced tires on this thing. Let me, let me tell you about that. I replaced these tires on this thing uh, probably seven fucking times. What do we got? We got three flats. Now we got three flats, not just two or one. Um, I've went to the used tire store and I've done this like three or four times already. Just so I can have air in the tires to move. But I can't move the car. It won't move for me. I gotta drag it and hoist it. Ah, son of a bitch! I, uh, that didn't feel good at all, guys. Appreciate it. Appreciate it. Please. Now, this tire's flat, too. It's flat tire heaven over here at my friend Pete's. There you go, bitch. Get in there. There you go. Good tire. Good flat tire. We like flats around here. We like them. Especially when they don't have motors and transmissions in them. And you can't start them. And you've been pushing the car for how many years has it been here? I don't know. I don't know. But that's how long we've been pushing it. All the way from Dallas to Moab. It's been a long push. Do you get it? Push. Push. All right. I'm getting around on this deal. Not a square, guys. Does it make sense? Ah! Um, I replaced this section, I showed you how to do it. I gave you the idea in your head, and I said, you know what? I'm gonna show them how to take a quarter pound skin and only use what you need. That's what we did right here. <laughs> did you watch the video? Did you appreciate me by that? Did you do me a square deal, or did you do me the round? That way, there you go. Bitch! Okay. Okay. There we go. Woo. Yeah, that was a day's work right there. Just getting that. Hold on. What did we do here? Oh, that's right. This corner panel was crushed in in this area, and I showed you how to fix that. I showed you how to pull that out. I, I showed you how to use your, 
your heating torches and, and coolers and pull it out. Well, I forgot about that. I saved this guy thousands of dollars. Thousands of dollars. But do I get appreciated for it? Am I the guy that's getting appreciated? Am I? Really? Truly, am I? Really? Really? Whew, okay. Uh, after a long, tall breath, um, we've decided to get this car up on the stands. That really didn't do any good, though. It really didn't. I'm going to have to buy some tires. I'm either going to have to buy tires or I'm going to have to get these ones fixed. i got to do something because i got to have tires that hold air. There's no way out of it. It's got to be done. Whew. I feel like I've worked all day. And the day's just begun. Yes, yes it has. Right here. Um, we're going to go ahead and whip out the bodywork on this thing and get her done. So come back. Enjoy the video set on the Camaro. Love the video set on the Camario. Make sure that you thumbs up the video on the Camario and make sure that you leave a comment below on the Camaro. Because I'm only here for one reason, to love the car, to get up on the car and do this on the car and, and, and do to the car and, and treat it like a set object while it's in my shop because that's the only way that I will have to be sane enough to work on the car is if I love the car. Because if I hate the car, I won't work on it. You sorry bitches what you are, you bitch. You bitch. You bitch. You bitch. You bitch. You bitch. I am so tired of looking at this car. I want to get bored, bitch.